Alright, so this is one of those videos where I have no idea what you guys are going to think, and I'm going to think this. Basically, it's a really interesting, odd topic, and these people seem to think Sonic the Hedgehog should be and will be gay. Now, for me, I'm thinking he doesn't seem like that. Their main point, or one of the main points, is that Amy, one of the characters in Sonic, is disliked by Sonic. So because he doesn't like that one girl, then, you know, maybe he's... Alright, let's take a look at the article. And yeah, I know, this is one of those articles that's going to get me in trouble. Someone, somewhere out there is going to think that I'm homophobic, and it's not quite the case. But I'm not sure I ever looked at Sonic as being gay. So here we go. Why we think Sonic should and will be gay. Sonic the Hedgehog has a history of romance, though he's never been all that interested in women. Instead, Sonic should become an LGTBQ plus icon. As Sonic spins his way into cinemas, we found ourselves thinking about the things we still don't know about him. Despite the fact that Sonic has been in our games and our hearts for almost 30 years, there's still a lot we haven't been told about the ring collecting blue blur such as his sexuality, which is the really important thing about a video game character and a movie. Really important. This has made us consider the very real possibility that Sonic could, and we propose, should be gay. It's the should part I don't like so much. If they say they think it would be nice for them if he was, that's one thing. But when you say he should, that's a little bit of a different thing. He's never been that interested in Amy. Over the years, Amy Rose has made it her mission to bag Sonic as a husband. She considers herself his girlfriend, chasing him through the games, and keeping him safe. However, we propose that she's always been far more into him than he is into her. And sometimes, you know, they want to make the cool male hero not chasing the woman because it makes him seem a little bit stronger. It just makes him seem a little bit more, sometimes even intelligent, that he's just not going to go for any girl that he sees. Maybe he's looking for that one special love that's not Amy. You know, just saying. While the cartoons depict more hints at romance, in the games especially, Amy comes across as having been well and truly friend-zoned. Sonic clearly cares about her, but he often flinches or moves away when she displays overt romantic affection for him. He also seems ambivalent at best towards the charms of another woman, Rogue. Despite her having a more dangerous side that contrasts, Amy Rose Sonic still remains uninterested. So they say he does have charms towards a woman. Doesn't that solve the problem right there? Here's what could happen in Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Sonic and Tails could become more than just friends. While Sonic's natural chemistry with Amy seems to be one-sided romantic dynamic, his relationship with Tails is something else entirely, of course. Tails is a boy next door and a sweet, happy fox who brings joy to Sonic whenever he's around. Sonic's childhood friend perfectly complements him in both personality and action. The pair have a natural rapport and chemistry together effortlessly seeming to know what the other wants and needs. While Amy is very much a follower, Tails is very much a partner. This begs the question, why not take this to the next level? This begs the question, why go there? Why take it there? I don't understand the need for it for a character that's 30 years old who's established. They haven't come out and said it about him. If they want to bring in a new character in the Sonic franchise and it's a choice of the game designers and Sega and things like that, let him be whatever you guys want him to be. But I think, like with Spider-Man or any other established character that wasn't considered gay openly when they created him to just keep him the way he is. Tails also has the advantage of being a more universally adored partner to Sonic, especially in the games, than Amy who many find annoying. While she's sippering and swooning, Tails is protecting and helping, making it a far more equal pairing. So maybe Sonic didn't like her because she's annoying. And sometimes when people are annoying, you don't like them for romantic relationships. You guys just figured it out. He has a lot of chemistry with Knuckles too, apparently. When talking about Sonic's relationships, it would be remiss of us not to bring up Knuckles, whose banter with Sonic lends itself perfectly to a sexually charged, homoerotic, Adversal relationship. I'm at a loss. You guys let me know what you think about that down below. Pretty pleased with sugar on top. Wait, was that Knuckles in the Sonic movie? We could see this tension causing some issues between Tails and Sonic as well, with some 
rivalry for Sonic's affections coming into play, because that's what we want to see in the Sonic movie, is Tails and Knuckles in Sonic 2 fighting for his affection. Sounds great. Overall, the relationships Sonic has with both Tails and Knuckles play out perfectly with a romantic element arguably much better than the he's just not into you dynamic between Sonic and Amy Rose, which I went over. That could be deliberate. Sometimes they do like the hero, whether it's a man or a woman, to be hard to get, not just getting together with the person in the foreground or the person who's also a main character. Gay is the way. These days there is quite rightly a lot of discussion regarding representation in gaming. The LGBTQ plus community is still largely underrepresented and presentation of homosexual relationships as every bit as normal, valid, and fulfilling as heterosexual ones is vital in combating bigotry and homophobia, which people are going to call me, I, I guess. I guess I can't avoid it. A much-loved icon such as Sonic could do great things for the community, which sadly still faces persecution and bullying. Okay, now here's a big thing where a lot of people look at me like, well, I'm the bad guy and this and that, and I'm not on the side of homosexuals when I actually am on the side of homosexuals, and diversity at large. So the thing is this, if they wanted a character, and I mean companies like Marvel, Star Wars, DC, things like that, if they really cared, then 20 years ago, 30 years ago, they would have been developing these characters. But it seems very coincidental to me, at this point in time, that they're all raising their hand and saying, well, we want to have this diversity now. We want to have this sexuality now. It just seems coincidental. That's why I don't trust it so much. So when I usually make a video saying, well, I don't think this character should be homosexual, I don't think this racial swap should happen, people look at me like the bad guy, but I'm saying that because I don't think they care because of the coincidental timing that everyone's doing at the same time. It seems trendy. It doesn't seem authentic. It doesn't seem from the heart. If it was, they would have done it a long time ago. But apparently, they're all doing it now at the same time. And it seems like they're playing follow the leader, like with Gillette and the transgender in the commercial. It doesn't seem like Gillette ever cared, ever. They're an old company. They could have been doing that a long time ago, but they chose to do it like about a year ago when it happens to be something a lot of other companies are doing. That's why I don't trust them. That's why I'm actually on the side of diversity when it's done in the right way and in the natural way. And also, diversity is naturally happening, so they don't have to give it this big push. It's going to happen. The world is becoming more diverse, so that's another thing is I don't like this like big push for it, like it's gotta happen, like they're the good guys and everyone's holding it back. No one's holding diversity back. Diversity is naturally occurring. I said that twice, three times, you guys get the drift. Let's do a shout out. Shout out to Blue Maxwell who has a website. I'm gonna link that at some point, getting late, maybe like 1 a.m. here so I can't do it now, but Blue Maxwell, thank you very much. You will get a shout out again at some point. Appreciate the support. If you're not subscribed here, click that subscribe button. I'm doing shout outs, special thanks, things like that. Star Wars, pop culture, Amber Heard, the news. That's it.